So, you want to create this cool wave motion graphic thing with text. So, let's get started. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool looking uh, animation here where like it drips down with uh, with the with the little transparency and looks all nice and good and stuff. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything out of our scene except for the camera. So, drag a box over top of the cube and the lamp. Hit delete on your keyboard. Left click the camera. And hit Alt G and Alt R to clear location and rotation. Then hit R and then X on your keyboard. And then on your numpad, hit 9 0 to rotate that X, uh, to rotate on the X axis by 90 degrees. Hit Enter to confirm that. Now let's go ahead and hit G Y and then drag your mouse backwards to, uh, to move that back about right there. Hit 0 on your numpad to go to the, the camera's view. Now we got all that done, everything's set up. Um, let's go ahead. And hit Shift A, and we'll, oop, Shift A, and we'll search for a mesh. Um, well, actually, we'll search for a text first. So text. There we go. Then hit once again R X, and on your numpad nine zero for ninety degrees. Hit Enter to confirm that movement. As always, um, now we can go ahead and go to the text tab here on the right hand side. Go to font, and then begin. This is where we can hit this little folder to change um, to change the font. I'm going to leave this font for today because it looks pretty decent actually for what we're going to be doing. So this is where we, you, would, you would change the font by hitting this little uh, folder icon. I'm going to scroll on down and go down to alignment and change it from horizontal left to horizontal center and the vertical. We're going to change this to center as well. So there we go. With that done, I'm going to put my cursor back over here next to the text, hit tab, go to edit mode, and then uh, hit backspace three times, and just make sure that this text word is all capitals, because I don't want it to be uh, the way that it is right now, because it looks kind of strange, all lowercase like that. So hit tab once again to go out of edit mode. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and um, go to scroll on up here to geometry. We can change the offset value to make this, this font a little bit thicker, which looks really really decent with this default Blender font. It looks pretty good, actually. Um, and I also want, also want to go ahead and shear this by just maybe by by one. There we go, something like that. Looks really, really cool, really simple. Default Blender font looks amazing. Um, so let's go ahead. And with all that done, now we are ready to go ahead and do the simple, simple, simple animation. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift-A and search for a me and search for a mesh plane. Uh, oop, uh, mesh plane, there we go. Boom. And then hit R, X, and then once again, 9, 0 on your numpad. Hit enter to confirm that. And now we're going to go ahead and um, spin this around here just by hitting, clicking and dragging the scroll wheel. Clicking and dragging, like uh, clicking it down and then just moving around a pan around the scene like that. Hit G, Y, and then move this, this plane slightly above the word text. So it's not like in the way, you know what I mean? So it's not like on top of the word. Now, with that done, I'm going to hit S, X, and then scale this on the X axis like that and then we're gonna go ahead and let me move my mouse real quick there we go go ahead and um, hit zero to go in the camera's view and then hit G Z to move this uh, plane all the way up above the word text here so this is what we're gonna do move it up about right there um, now that we have that out of the way what we need to do now is hit tab to go into edit mode. Now we need to make the drips. So this plane we're using is going to be the drips, the cool looking animation that's going to go over top of the text and make it look like the uh, text is kind of wiping away in this little wave drip kind of animation which looks really sick. Um, let's go ahead and once we hit tab you can see that we need to go ahead and um, put some loop cuts in this. So let's go ahead and grab the loop cut tool right here um, and we'll put this number of cuts from three to let's do some odd number. It can't be an even number. I mean, it could be, but uh, I'm gonna do an I'm gonna do an odd number. We'll do nine. Put that right there. Nice. So we have some little uh, some little lines here. So that's that's what we need. This is what we needed right here. What we're gonna do essentially is I wanna go go ahead and grab this uh, select box tool. Grab each individual vertice and hit G Z. And then we'll move each one down or up individually. So we can just hit G actually because we're in the front uh, facing view. So hit G, move them around like this. Get them nice and uh, nice and different. You can see we move these around. Up, oh, move these around like this and like that. There we go. Just make them like nice and random. You know, space some of them out. You know, make some of them go up, some of them go down. Just the uh, the huge. You know, 
and we'll maybe make these flare out a bit on the ends. There we go. Nice. So it looks like some kind of iceberg. Hit tab to go out of edit mode. I don't know what that looks like. It looks like some kind of, you know, broken piece of glass. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. But um, maybe old man Jimmy's playing baseball again and the, the ball went through your window. I That old man Jimmy. Yeah, we, okay, that guy. Hit um, Go to the modifiers tab here and add a modifier. This modifier is going to be a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to change the level of viewport to maybe something about three. Probably do three, maybe four. Um, you might be able to get away with two. Eh, no, let's do, we'll do three. We'll, at the minimum, we'll do three, maybe four if you can handle it, which I can, but we'll leave it on three. Um, nice. So with this done, you can see we have these cool little drips, but I don't want it to just, like, come down onto the text. That's not as cool. So we need to animate these. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the, the, uh, the, uh, the normals tab here, the object data tab, which is this little upside down green triangle. Um, hit shape keys, hit this little plus button twice. Boom, boom. Now we got a basis and a key one. On key one, um, we're going to go ahead and hit um, tab in our workspace over here. You can't do it over here. You can't hit tab over here. It won't do anything. You have to make sure your cursor is somewhere inside the workspace, which is this big old box over here. Um, anywhere in the, in the big old box, hit uh, tab in, back in edit mode. And then we need to go ahead and click and drag these vertices around to animate um, where they are, so the location. So let's go ahead and G. To move this, so hit G on your keyboard, boom, and we'll just move this, uh, move this, move this uh, up like that, I guess, something like that. Now hit Tab to go out of edit mode. Now go to key, hit this little plus button, add in another key, another key like that, boom. And what we're gonna do now is let me actually move some stuff around here on my uh, on my desk. Um, let's go ahead, and if I were to hit uh, this little this little key too, and then make sure we hit Tab to go back in edit mode, grab this second vertice. We'll pull this down by hitting G. Pull it down like that. There we go. Um, oh, hit G to move it down. There we go. Nice. Um, and then we'll do the same thing with this one up here. So hit Tab, out of edit mode, new keyframe, key three. You guessed it. The third, the, fir the third vertice. We're gonna move this one um, down just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit like that. Um, tab. Plus, oh, not the minus button. The plus button. There we nope, not the minus button. The plus button. There we go. Um, hit the fourth one, and you get the idea. We're gonna move this one down, most likely. New keyframe. Move this one probably up slightly, maybe just so we have some variation. This one down very slightly. New keyframe, and each one of these has to be on a new um, on a new key. It cannot be on the same key at all. It has to be on the different key, or else this will not work um, the way that I want it to. We have to create different values for all these, so they all move separately and independently, or else they're all gonna move together. It's gonna look strange. Um, you could do that if you wanted to, and it would all look, they all move together, and if you move them different values, it might look uh, pretty cool and whatever, but what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead, and I'm actually going to, I just did two of them on the same frame, didn't I, as I'm speaking about not doing that, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there we go, and then on frame nine here, we'll go ahead and move this up, ten, we'll move this one uh, slightly down, and then on frame eleven, We'll go ahead and move this one probably down. There we go. Nice. So all of these uh, are independent of a different um, of a different piece of the slime drippy thing. So essentially, what we need to do is animate each of these, and then we can have our uh, cool animation. So let's start with key one. Let's go to the zero frame, um, and then put our frame on zero. Make sure the start frame zero and you're on zero. It's just a pet peeve of mine. You don't have to do that. You can, you can leave it on one if you want to. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and go to value. So if we go to value, hover a cursor over top of that, hit I. We can answer the keyframe. This keyframe will be um, will be zero. If we go to frame like let's say 50, and then make this almost all the way up, so about maybe 8.8, .8, and then hit I, and then we'll go to like frame 110 or something like that. Put it all the way up. Hit I. The same thing for all the rest of the keyframes. I want to do some of them independently, though. So we'll just go to some different ones, some random different ones, and then just create some values um, in some random locations. So something like that, and then like that, and then put one in between these. We'll go like there, um, oop, uh, there, and then some really random values, guys. Nothing too crazy, um, nothing like that makes sense at all. Just really, really random values. Uh, I don't want to make it all the way up. Um, there we go, and then we'll put this one like over here. But you guys get the idea. So if we do this for all of these keyframes here, you can see that we'll have a really, really cool um, looking, oops, really cool looking animation once we are finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to see if I can do all of these keys 
and then I shall be back once I have completed all of them. So like I said, I'll do one more on camera with you guys. So I'm just going to a random one. On the first keyframe, I'm hitting uh, I. Hover my cursor at the top of this little box, hit I on your keyboard. I'm going to another second random location, and then putting it almost all the way up, hit I. Then I'm going a little bit further from that again, and then putting it all the way up to one, hitting I, and then doing the same thing. So we're just going back, and we're doing the same thing over and over again. So that is all that we're doing here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so you guys don't have to see all this nonsense, but I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I've done all of the keyframes here. They're all green. Um, there you go, except for uh, basis, obviously, because basis is the default. So let's go ahead and go to the front here, and you can see what the animation looks like. Um, this first one, there we go. Oop, this first one is looking good. All right, so they all are at zero. Uh, this one's at 0 0.9999, which I don't understand why. Can't lie to you. So we'll move it up by one frame, and then we'll put zero there okay well this one's just being a rebel i suppose today ladies and gentlemen i don't know why that's doing that if someone has an idea why it says 0.9999 right there then let me know but as you can see it definitely is not on 9999 um that's just very strange so let's go ahead and actually maybe delete that one and then we'll add it back um by doing it. i think it was the last one yeah yeah it was okay so it's the last one move it down all right and then we'll hit i do the last one on camera with you guys and then we'll move it up just in case you also have this issue I and then we'll move it up again. That's strange how it did that. I don't know what was going on there. That's better now. There we go. Cool. So if we play this, you can see it does this really cool, weird looking drip animation thing, which is really cool. It's very slow as of right now, so we need to go ahead and fix that, but that's super easy. Let's go ahead and go to the main tab. Uh, the main tab, sorry, right here, which is the output tab, properties tab. Change the frame rate from 24 to 60. And then we're going to go ahead and hit A. We're going to double tap A until everything is orange in our timeline here. Hit S. Make sure your cursor is, your, your, your playhead is on zero, whatever the first frame is. Hit S to scale them inwards. And we'll scale them all the way until maybe about frame 100. And then we'll go back and hit play. And you can see it's much faster now, which is really, really sweet. I'll change my end frame to 110 right here. Right there, change my end frame to 110 somewhere. Wherever the last frame is, maybe you want to go out maybe a couple frames from that. Uh, just a few frames after that. Um, but which is probably going to be actually right, right here, honestly, to be honest with you. So we'll probably put that on... Yeah, so I'm like 95, there we go, for me. Now we need to animate the actual slime itself, or the drip, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the drip, because it sounds cool. So I hit I, uh, hit location, and then on frame, like, maybe, I don't know, 30-ish, I'm going to hit G, Z, and move it about almost halfway down, like that. Hit I, location, and then we're going to move to about frame... 84 and hit G Z and move it all the way down like that so it covers up the entire word text nice so you can see what it looks like when we do this is ways like this so let's go ahead and play this one more time boom so it comes down and you get to see some of that animation on there of course because the word text isn't all the way you don't get to see all of the animation on the whole thing but the point is is that whatever the word is should be you should be covered so you see those different animations see them some things moving and that looks really really cool so the last thing we need to do is go to the material tab select the text um, hit this little drop down here select material change this from principal BSDF to emission grab the big uh, drip hit new and then we'll change this from principal BSDF to hold out. There we go. Now, let's go to the main tab here. The first tab, rather. Um, hit, go to film. And then make sure uh, transparent is checked, like that, which looks really cool. Um, and now when we go to render viewport shading, you can see that it is making the text drip away, which looks super, super sweet. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's basically, uh, that's basically that. You can see it looks really cool. Now, if you want more drips, obviously, go ahead and grab your um, your little thing here, your, your your drip, and select everything. And then you can go ahead and you can always add in more um, more loop cuts. So add in a loop cut there, loop cut there, you know, whatever, what have you. And then we'll just move this up or down so it looks nicer or cooler or whatever you want to say. And you have a little bit more detail in some of these areas. But, um, but for the most part, like I said, this is how to make the cool drip text transparent transition animation thing but yeah hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one um but until then <laughs> bye bye